guys and welcome back to the vlog. I am so excited to finally be back on doing some home projects. Today we are going to build a DIY planter. I saw this on Pinterest and actually my husband had talked about building planters under our windows when we first moved in and I originally was like no that sounds like not cute. I found pictures on Pinterest and these are the cutest things I've ever seen. And you know my aesthetic. I want a nice, cute cottage and this just breathes cottage. The plan is to head to Lowe's, pick up all of the materials and this picture that I found on Pinterest has all of the steps that I need to do in order to build it. So I will link all of the information on how to build this. We'll take you step by step and we'll just do it together. I've never done something this extensive before. I've never used a saw. So we're learning all together and I'm excited to bring you along the process. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you loved this. And let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see next. Thank you. Yeah. We're back home. I got all of the wood. Let's go over the things that we bought. I got two inch and I got three inch wood screw nails for mounting on our house, which has wood um, siding. And then when I went to Lowe's, I had this handy dandy piece of work. <laughs> and it was the longest it's already been the longest day, but it was so long getting it because this really sweet old man tried to help me find the wood that I needed. Then I thought he was doing it correctly. And then I loaded it all up only for a worker to tell me that that's not actually cedar wood. This just treated wood. So it just was a long trip. However, let's go over how much everything costs. The cedar boards, I got two of them and they were like $40 each. I got two uh, one by eights and they were 12 foot each and so those were $40. Then I got a one by two eight footer for the trim and that was like $4, $5 each. And then I got the screws and then I got a one by six. I got two one by sixes and those were eight feet and those together, those each were $18. So in total, I spent $154.98. Now, the screws were about $9 each. So if you already have like wood screws, which I bought an entire box because I don't have these anymore and I know I'll use them for different projects. But if you already have those, that can be a cost that is gone. So the wood, the 12 foot cedar board, one by eight, those were $40 each. If I could have found something and I had more knowledge on wood, I would have found something cheaper, but that to me was just extremely expensive for this project. However, let's hope that we can build three of these planters, if not all of them, um, with all the wood that I got. So, hopefully, and then we'll divide it up on how much each thing cost for four planters. We'll see. confused this part right here isn't staying but I need one hand to like hold this one down while I move this one over but see I just I don't know how this works My dad is literally my lifesaver. I just called him to ask, how do you use this? There's so many safety like measures that you have to do. So he's just gonna come over. He's gonna show me how to use this so I don't kill myself. 
then he's going to help me cut them. So I'm just going to pre-do all the lines right now for all the boards that I need cut so he can come over and just quickly cut all of them. And a half, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so I have all of the boards marked for when my dad comes and we will be able to start assembly. Let me go grab my drill and then we can get it started. The longer end is what you put on the table. Okay. And then you hold your hand here, push this in, and pull your trigger. Oh and then follow along. Ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so wait. So use your so left this, thumb. Okay. This yeah. here. Just give it back. You don't put it on it. There, right there. Okay, now. Okay. Like okay. that. Yeah. Then you press Not this in. This. <laughs> cutting these trim pieces to go around the edges. Then I will wood fill in all of the nails that I put in, we'll sand it, we'll stain it, and then we will put it on top underneath the window. So, for reference, I'm leaving this side open so that when we hang it up, against this right we can just easily drill where we need to drill to hold it upright then i'll put the final piece on top of it and i'll put the trim on top of it as well put this here going back to lowe's because the wood that I got yesterday did not complete all four of the planters that I want. It was only able to complete two, two. So, gotta go back for another round. Whoever said this project was gonna be easy and simple and cheap lied. All of my planters three sides are up and ready to be mounted underneath the window. Uh, I am going to sand them down first, I think. Um, that wasn't said in like the directions, but I'm going to do that so that I have minimal sanding to do when they're actually up on the wall. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs>
are back for day three. And today's the day we're gonna finish it all. Ain't that right, Wesco? We're gonna finish it all today. Look at him. He's literally sitting in the sawdust. Wesco, what are you doing? What are you doing, Stink? Gotta get motivated because it's been a long two days, but I really wanted to complete this project today because we have people coming over tomorrow and I want it to be done. So, let's get to grinding. Today's all about finishing those two planters that need trim. Then we're done with cuts, then we're done with the nail gun, then we're done with screwing things in, and we're into wood filler, sanding, which I've already sanded most of them, it's just those final touches of sanding. Then we got to stain it, and then the stain is supposed to dry in two hours, seal it, the sealer is supposed to dry in two hours, and then pot the actual plants, which I'm probably going to do late tonight so the sun doesn't kill my plants when I water them. Lots of projects going on around the neighborhood. So excited. My house looks like a completely different house. I can't wait to show you the before and the after. But let's get into it. Day three, final day. Work. I've got to let those now sit in stain for about two hours. I'm going to wash up, clean up the station, and then I'm going to come and put a sealer over top of it. 